Hi yogis, it's Christy Kokami and today we're doing a review of the Manduka Pro Light Mat. This is the first time that I'm trying Manduka mats and um, I formerly was using Jade Yoga mats and I really love that one. They're really grippy and they're fantastic. However, I do find myself having to replace them every like one to two years um, because they're made out of natural rubber. So I figured I'd give Manduka a try. So the yoga mat that I'm reviewing is the Manduka Pro Light. The Manduka Pro Light mat is 71 inches by 24 inches or 180 centimeters by 61 centimeters or 5 foot 11 inches by 2 feet. This mat is actually made out of PVC so it's not as eco-friendly as some of their other mats or some of the other lines that the Manduka line holds. However, Manduka does say that this mat doesn't have any sort of chemicals that get emitted from it, particularly phthalates. And the mat is also made in a factory in Germany that doesn't have any sort of toxic emissions. So this is one of three mats within the Pro Series line that Manduka has a lifetime guarantee or a lifetime warranty on. My suspicion is because it's made out of PVC, it is going to last you a little bit longer than, say, your Eco Light, which is made out of natural rubber also. The Pro Light mat has a closed cell construction, so it's going to be easy for you to be able to clean and it's not as absorbent, so it shouldn't be absorbing your sweat, dirt, or any sort of moisture. This is going to make this mat a little bit cushiony. Um, this is a 4.7 millimeter in thickness, so it should feel really nice for your joints if you happen to do like your practice on your knees and whatnot. That being said, this mat does have some instructions that come with it in terms of the breaking in process. Obviously, practice is one way that you break it in, but they also say on the mat that you're going to have to do a couple of things before practicing with it to make it a little bit more sticky or grippy. Let's test that out. I'm going to do a practice before I do any of those sort of breaking in, and then I'll do that exact same practice after we do one day of breaking it in. I was looking into their instructions, which I found a little bit vague. So they say to first um, unroll your mat and then sprinkle salt, leave it out to sit for 24 hours, and then you're going to wipe all the salt off with a damp cloth. And then you should be able to practice. So the whole like sprinkling mat surface generally with salt was very confusing just because I'm wondering if like the salt is supposed to be like a natural abrasive sort of like material that I need to wipe down to get a little bit more grip on the top of the mat or am I just literally supposed to sprinkle it and just wait for some sort of like magical degrading process to happen from the sun and salt. Um, I reached out to customer service through their chat and I asked them like, am I actually supposed to scrub this with salt? And they said, no, you literally just sprinkle it down with salt and just leave it out in the sun. They sent me a video to kind of look at from their website and I guess that's it. It's all like salt, sun and good vibes. So we'll try that out and see how it goes. Check out the video for that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm excited to give it a try. Let's check it out. So let's open the mat. All right. So on the top you kind of have this sort of like ridge and then if you look on the back, so the side that's supposed to go down, you have these little like circles. So it's a different texture, but then you also have these little like manduka signs. I don't know if you can see that, which is kind of cute. You get a little bit of like a sort of plasticky sort of smell to them, but it's not really that strong. 
I did have this mat kind of sitting for a while. So you do get a little bit of like a sort of smell. I'm not sure if it was stronger when I first purchased this mat. Honestly, it's been quite a while and I just kind of left it. Um, yeah. So, but I'm really excited. This is a really pretty color. This color is Lotus and, um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay. Okay, so I just practiced on the Manduka Pro Light. I really like that mat. Um, I think the color is beautiful. And first impressions, yes, it is really slippery if you're not actually breaking it in. Like I just decided to practice without actually breaking in the mat. Um, and it is a little slippery. I've been a practitioner for a couple decades now. So, you know, navigating the slipperiness of the mat is fine. Although there were a couple times where my feet kind of slipped because I'm used to using my other mat, which is well worn in and broken in. Um, you know, that being said, though, um, you know, if you were to break in the mat and continue practicing, I'm sure it'll probably get really nice and like, nice over time. I have a lot of students who really enjoy using Manduka's products, um, particularly the Manduka Pro series, just because they practice quite a bit. So it's well worn and broken in. So, and it lasts a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of breaking in the mat, seeing how it goes. I was actually reading that one person didn't want to do the whole like salting of the mat and leaving it out in the sun. And they just decided that they were going to just kind of break in the mat um, through just natural wear. So that's also an option according to that person that worked. You know, I'm looking forward to kind of breaking in the mat and seeing how it goes from here. Okay, thanks for watching.